A salary should include more than just the cost of living. It makes no sense why society is so fixed on the idea that salary should cover you bills aka the cost of living. It's the bare minimum to exist, for what, working 160 hours minimum a month? And to do that again? For years upon years? We should strive for a minimum wage where people can go and spend a nice day with themselves or their families. Go on a holiday, or even save up for a dream they want to go after. I'm getting so fed up with politics arguing that we need to cover the cost of living, and nothing beyond that. Poverty is so much more destructive than people realize. Thank you for reading my mini rant. We'll give you just enough to not die. Now get back to work. That was what the original idea behind minimum wage was. Especially since our economy is largely reliant on consumption. I make more than minimum wage but can say that my ability to engage in discretionary spending has diminished to zero. I no longer buy brands but not buy the cheapest if I can buy at all. I only buy for my absolute needs. If people can't buy the stuff we're producing where exactly is our economy going to go but down? The UN defines a living wage as covering bills, food and all that a family needs as well as luxuries wants reasonable fun money etc. This should also be with regular and secure employment, no forced art, freedom of association, no forced labor, a safe working so on, and so on. Not all society is focused on just making ends meet. FDR on a living wage. X200B. It seems to me to be equally plain that no business which depends for existence on paying less than living wages to its workers has any right to continue in this country. By business I mean the whole of commerce as well as the whole of industry by workers I mean all workers, the white collar class as well as the men in overalls and by living wages I mean more than a bare subsistence level I mean the wages of decent living. Even literal slaves get their basic cost of living covered some food and a roof over their head. Which, as ridiculous as that may sound, is more than some free workers even get. Cost of living wage. What happens when someone gets sick or injured? What happens if I drive over a nail? What happens when the neighbor kid hits a baseball through my window? What about saving for retirement? Saving for a better education? Saving for a birthday present? Wedding? Or, just enough to keep everyone on the dollar menu? Because they want to keep people poor and exhausted. I think since you are not supposed to spend more than one three of your income on rent then the minimum wage should be pegged to three times the median rent price within 30 minutes of the work location, or the city in which you live if working remotely. You want people to have money to enjoy themselves? You communist RJK. Thriving wage, not just a living wage. Sure, the problem is who do we define minimum wage? You need a formula. Personally, I go for 2x or 3x the average rent of a one bedroom apartment in a local area. I think the perception of minimum wage being a livable wage reduced to a survivable wage since Reagan. Although now we're at a point it's not even survivable anymore, if you cut out all expenses like bills and food and gas you might just have enough for a six-foot plot. I'd cab out a coffin though. It's telling how you didn't even think of saving for retirement. Preach goddamn, thank you for saying this. The reason everybody is so fixated about cost of living right now is because such a large percentage of jobs provide less than the cost of living you are correct in that you should be making more than the cost of living because ideally you would want to be saving for retirement having a comfortable lifestyle above mere existence but so many people are struggling to make ends meet even working multiple jobs at times. It doesn't even cover that, is why. 51 meters 38 of 134 meters FT workers in the US make $20 an hour or less. That's free lunch and food stamps money for some family sizes. But if you give them too much, they won't be irrevocably dependent on corporations for their very survival. They might have options and be able to change their socioeconomic status. 
We can't have all those people thinking they're worthy of a comfortable life CEOs might make a few dollars then at the end of the fiscal year. I am making 153 above minimum. I am only still surviving. Shit is fucked. I always remember when my partner worked for a friend for a while. They came over to the house and asked how we'd afforded a nice new TV and commented that they were clearly paying my partner too much. We were expected to just exist and that was that nothing too nice, just paying bills. What he was paying my partner was below minimum wage anyway but we'd just moved back to the area. He even tried to cut my partner's wage when I got a promotion. At least in our constitution it states that minimum wage must sustain an entire family with roof, food, transportation, education and leisure. Happens in practice? Nope, but the text is there, with no way to misinterpret. These companies only ask you to work X hours because it was fought for with tooth and nail back in the day. If they could they'd have you work 24-7 with zero rest for free. And what be able to afford the same luxuries as rich people? Preposterous. Find a bunch of people who have the same goals as you. Start a business and share equal equity in it. You all split the profits and share the losses. This is the only realistic way to make that happen right now. That's what it was supposed to be, but the average American doesn't pay attention to much of anything outside their struggle. They don't ask why they're struggling. They just blame themselves because that's what society does. The thing is, there are jobs that will pay you a higher wage. Why not do some research find something that pays above min wage and that you may be interested in? It seems like everyone in anti-work is hyper-focused on jobs that require the least amount of preparation, specialized skills or responsibility then demanding that job provide X, Y, Z. But according to the Daily Mail, that's socialism. Yeah when minimum wage was devised it was intended for one income to be enough for a family to survive and also have fun stuff to do. Remember that in that time public transit was better, too. Capitalism doesn't actually reward work. Capitalism is about owning the means of production. What you describe isn't a bug, it's a feature. It absolutely does not. My cost of living isn't the same as your cost of living. Cost of living to me anyway would be to enable one to live in comfort and do things to enrich themselves. So, hobbies, sports, holidays. The other thing is just bare minimum. We are so fixated on cost of living because wages currently are way below cost of living. An example is Greece. If you rent an apartment, your cost of living, without any entertainment is approximately 850 euros. If you own an apartment, your cost of living is 450 euros. Minimum wage in Greece 650 euros. That's 200 euros lower than the amount you need to survive for get entertainment, I got friends that can't even pay their phones. T. What are you talking about? People buy avocado toast and Starbucks all the time and now you want them to have more money? S. Adam Smith thought that minimum wage should be twice the cost of living. Anyone against that isn't a capitalist, but a sycophantic boz. The problem with minimum wage, every time the government increases it, no one else's wage goes up. Start a company and pay that salary. When I was 16 working my first job I saw people twice my age working the same job as me making the same money as me and I knew right then and there that I did not want to be in that position at 32 years of age, so I made the decision to learn valuable skills that will afford me the lifestyle I wanted. I did that. I worked hard. Made the right decisions, and I don't have the financial issues I once had. It is possible to get out of poverty. Millions have done it. You have to make the right choices, have valuable skills, and have personal responsibility. The things you need to live come from people working. You have to pay those people for their contribution through the proceeds of your contribution. Salary shouldn't be based on the cost of living it should be based on how much you contribute. 
because that salary would be $30 hour in my city and probably higher for others which is currently an unobtainable goal for many.